Well, I'm uh, Jack Duick, Calgary, Canada, and uh, I'm an EAA volunteer. I teach supporter workshops. I'm a tech counselor, and I want to talk today a little bit about drilling sheet metal components for assembly. What we have here is a plate that I've already done a layout of for a rivet line and an angle that I propose to rivet this plate to. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put these two components together like that, and we're going to drill the various holes on assembly. That way we make sure that the holes are all lined, with, lined up perfectly with each other. The first thing we want to do is clamp this material to a bench so that it doesn't move when we're doing the work with it. And I'm going to use two very simple C-clamps to put that together. And now I'm going to make sure this other side is, end is lined up and we're going to put a clamp on there as well. I'm not worried too much at this stage about the corner holes because we can get them after the other ones have been drilled and located. Now there's an adage that I like to use and it says, if you don't want something to move, clamp it. And it really applies to all the work that we do. So now I'm going to take a drill and I'm going to do a pilot hole with a number 40 drill. And I've got the drill bit and I'm going to chuck it into the drill. Now when I chuck it into the drill, make sure that the, the three cogs on the drill chuck do not touch the flute. You don't want to have the drill inserted so far because you're not going to have a very straight drill bit. You want to make sure that it's out that far. And we're going to tighten that up and we're going to use a chuck key to tighten the drill bit and you tighten all three locations. They don't have to be over tight but they've got to be snug. So there we have the drill chucked up and we're going to put the air to it so we can operate it. A word of caution, never work with your drill, removing a drill bit or putting one in if it's still connected to the air because you can get serious injuries from that. So let's start with somewhere close to a center. You can see I've got the holes laid out and I don't want to walk this drill all over material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it by hand about a round or two before I pull a trigger. So I pilot drilled that hole and again, if you don't want it to move, clamp it. I'm going to put a Clico clamp in here. Having done that, let me just show you a Clico clamp. There's a Clico set of pliers, which are special pliers, and a Clico. When you insert when you squeeze the pliers, you insert the stem out, which allows you to put it into a hole. When you release the pliers, the stem comes back and spreads out and holds the materials together. An ingenious, wonderful device. So now I'm going to drill another hole. And continuing with this process, putting a Clico into the holes that I drilled. And I'm drilling every second hole as you can see, which will help locate and hold the whole assembly down. I've got three holes drilled. I've got three clicos holding the assembly together. I can now remove these outside clamps and get them out of the way. And I can do the remaining holes. Again, with a sharp bit, it'll follow right through on your mark. It does help if you turn it a little bit to get it started. You'll also notice that I have a variable speed drill that I'm using. And a slow speed allows you to start it very, very accurately. So you squeeze the trigger and get started. Once the hole is started, you can 
uh, increase the, the speed of the drill and, of course, drill through quicker. Now, we've got the eight holes drilled in the plate as per our layout. But we've been using a number 40 drill, which is a pilot drill in some cases. We want to use a larger drill. We need a number 30 drill for the rivet, which is basically an eighth inch rivet. So we're going to take another drill where we have pre-inserted the appropriate number 40 drill. And we're going to use it to enlarge these holes now to the proper rivet size. And the order at this point doesn't matter because they are being held by the Clecos. You'll notice this is not a variable speed drill, and it's a little bit more difficult, and it's not as easy to work with, but it'll do fine for doing the larger drills. I would not want to use this drill for a pilot drill. There. We have all the holes drilled with the exception of the ones where the clecos are. Having done that, we take the next size Clico, the next larger size Clico, the copper ones, and insert them in these holes. In fact, I will take this outside one and put it in here. Having done that, I can remove the silver Clicos, and I can now complete the drilling of this pro project. Now we have completed drilling all appropriate sizes of holes for this assembly. And that's how we get the two pieces ready to be drilled on assembly. And good luck with building your airplane.